third car algorithm in this series is the simple decision making algorithm. Now in this algorithm what I'm going to do is talk about or show you how to get the computer to choose say between one of three different things. And this is the foundation for forming an artificial intelligence or an imitation of intelligence. Okay, so let's get started. Let's say, for instance, I have um, three possible responses to an input. So um, let's say, I say uh, in the program, I could say C out. Hello there. Um, I'm glad to help. Okay, or something like that. Or I might want to also say Sorry, I'm busy. Okay, or I could say something like this, like, let's say, get off my land. Okay, so in this case, uh, I have three different possible outputs. Now, these outputs could be really anything. Um, they could be, you know, in a poker game, they could be a bluff or a hit or a draw or something like that. Although the logic behind that specific instance would be a little more complicated. But I'm going to show you how to get the computer to choose one of these at ra seemingly at random. Okay, so what we do is we start off by generating a random number. So I'm going to need first to seed the random number. Okay, then what I'm going to have to do is generate the random number and store it in an integer. Okay, so I'm going to say int random um, number is equal to rand modulus, and in this case I'm going to use 100 plus 1 like this. Okay, and if you don't really know what this means, please go back and look at my generating random numbers uh, video. Um, but what this does, it creates a number from 1 to 100. Okay, seemingly at random. However, it is not random. Okay, uh, but it looks random. Okay, anyway, so once that number is generated, what I do is I just assign a series of values to this. Okay, so I say if the random number is, let's say, less than 50, okay, then I say this, okay, and then I say else if, okay, the random number is, say, less than 80, then do this, okay, and then I would say otherwise do this one. Okay, now what I've done here is I've said that there's a 50% chance of doing this, a 30% chance of doing this, and a 20% chance of doing this. Right? So what happens here is that the computer generates a number from 1 to 100. If the number is uh, between 1 and 50, or, uh, well, it can only be between 1 and 100, so if it's 1 to 50, then it says the first response. If it's between, if it's not that, that means 51 to 80, it's going to do this, and 81 to 100 would be this, which gives a 50, 30, 20% chance. And you can adjust these chances to be whatever you really want. So you can say this would be like, you know, 90% or, you know, 5% or whatever. Okay, so let's take a look at how this would work. Okay, so I run this, and here it says, hello there, I'm glad to help. Okay, another time I run it. Okay, it says, hello there, I'm glad to help. Now, we're going to see this a lot because it happens half the time. Okay, hello there, I'm glad to help. Sorry, I'm busy. So you can see, like, a different thing happened, right? And so sometimes you can make it seem like the computer is actually, you know, um, behaving in a random way, although it's not. Here's another great example. Get off my land, so that's happened. Okay, and then, hello there, I'm glad to help. And, oh, there, I'm glad to help. And you can see that for the most part it does this, but sometimes it has an unpredictable behavior so that when you're running it, um, it just creates something different. See? Sorry, I'm busy. Okay? Now, a great example of this is if you make a ga little simple game that I always like to throw in, like a little cheating algorithm or something like that, and a computer will cheat you, say, 90 or 95 percent of the time. Um, that way, you know, it, or not 95 percent of the time, it runs regularly 90 to 95 percent of the time. The rest of the time it might, you know, try and cheat you in some way. Um, 
if you do that, then the user can't really tell because for the most part it runs fine. And then they learn to trust the program and then over time, um, once in a while the computer will sneak by and, and try and cheat them or something like that. Um, that's just an example, um, but you don't always have to use that. This is the foundation for any sort of random sort or quasi-random decision making in programs. Anyways, if you have any questions about this, uh, please drop a comment in the comment box, or if you have um, an, like some a serious one where you want me, well, and you want someone to look at your code, maybe put, uh, send it in an email. Um, although I can't really debug too much. Um, if you do like the video, then please consider giving me a thumbs up, and if you do like the channel, then please subscribe.